Hi, today we want to show you how to use Excel and be able to use the inverse of a matrix along with matrix multiplication to be able to solve a system of equations. Okay, so let's say that we have an equation like, um, give me two seconds. You see? Say we have 2x plus 3y equals 5 and 5x minus 2y equals 3. Can you see that? Huh? Should I go back? How's that? Can you see that? All right. Okay, so we're going to use Excel and we're going to use the inverse matrix along with matrix multiplication to be able to solve this system of equations. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is we have to write this in matrix form. The coefficient matrix is going to be this 2, 3, 5, and negative 2. And the constant matrix, which is 5 and 3, uh, we're going to put off to the side a little bit, is going to look like this. So let's put that in Excel. <clears throat> Let me open up Excel. All right. You see it on the computer? All right. Okay, so I'll make this nice and big. Ready? Put this closer. A beautiful wife's directing, so. All right, let's make this nice and big. So, let's say here's the two. What did we say? Two, three, five. So, two, three. And then I'll skip a little. A little space and put 5 and then right under it the next equation which was 2 sorry 5 negative 2 and 3 5 negative 2 and 3 so far so good here let me make it bigger this is a cool feature watch this Whoa, hold on. Up on. All right, there we are. Let me get this kind of centered. All right, here we are. We're on our way. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I have to create or I have to find out what the inverse matrix is. So I'm going to click and drag a two by two matrix okay so now I'm gonna to go to paste function where's paste function right there f of x paste function and I'm gonna find under well I've been using it recently but if you haven't used it you can go to math and trig and then way down in the M's, oh, you'll see matrix M mult. Where is it? I'm missing it. M mult. M, not M mult, I'm sorry, M inverse, because we got to get the inverse first and then we'll multiply. Okay? So, matrix inverse. So, right now it's asking for the matrix that we want to find the inverse of. And that's this matrix right here. So we're going to find the inverse of this matrix and it's going to be laid out in this little range right here. Okay. Ready? All right. So it's asking for the matrix that we want to invert. So I click and drag our coefficient matrix. Now here's a trick. 
you have to hold down shift and control and then hit, and then hit enter so that the matrix will fill this whole range otherwise it's all going to get laid out in that first cell so here I'm going to hold down shift control and enter and there is our inverse matrix okay so now this guy is going to get multiplied by this column matrix and it'll give us the results so let's see so I'm going to lay it out right here. So this is going to be, after we do the multiplication of this 4 by 2, we're going to get a 2 by 1 matrix. Sorry. Sorry, this 2 by 2 is going to be multiplied by this 2 by 1 matrix, and we're going to end up getting a 2 by 1 matrix, a little column matrix right there. Column vector or matrix, whatever you like to call it. So here, we're going to go back to paste function, and we're going to scroll down since we already used math and trig. I'm going to scroll down and find M mult. There it is. So we hit OK. Now it's going to ask for two arrays. First being the inverse, the second being the constants that we have. All right. So let me kind of lay this out over here. So the first array, that's going to be the inverse that we just created. So we click and drag that guy. And now it's waiting for, it's waiting for us to let it know what's going to be the second matrix. So this guy times this guy. So let's click and drag this one. So now, again, we want to hold down shift and control so that our answers could go into here. Okay? So, shift and control and enter, and look at this, one for x, one for y, let's see if it works, one times two is two, plus one times three is three, two plus three, five, and then here, one for x, one for y, let's try this one, one times five, it's five, plus one times negative two, that's negative two, 5 plus negative 2, 3. So we got the solution. And what's cool is you can go back into here and change the coefficient as well as the constant matrix and your results will show up here. So it's sort of a template now to solve a 2 by 2 system. Let's try another one. What two numbers, I think these were in the post. Um, what two numbers do I add to get 7 and then subtract to get 1. Here, let's put that in. Two numbers that I add to get 7. So 1 times x plus 1 times y should equal 7 and 1 times x. So if I'm taking x minus y to be 1 times x plus negative 1 times y equals 1. So does anybody know the two numbers that we add to get 7 but subtract to get 1? Mina, do you know? <laughs> 4 and 3. 1 times 4 plus 1 times 3 is 7. 1 times 4 plus negative 1 times 3, that's 4 minus 3, that's 1. Isn't that pretty cool? All right, how was that? You understand it? Anything else? This is a spaghetti squash. You guys ever see this? It's pretty delicious. Mina, how do we uh, how do we fix this? Tell me. In the oven. <laughs> okay, in the oven. All right, you guys. Thanks for listening.